it invokes Edge Memorial Rail Fan 3 here. A little different thing going on. My church was putting on a live Easter scene, the crucifixion of the Lord Jesus Christ. I hope you all enjoy it watching this. Jesus was beaten and mocked, and the soldiers twisted a crown of thorns and jammed on his head, and they mocked him and beat him.
Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they are doing. The soldiers also came up and mocked him and said, If you're the king of the Jews, then save yourself. And Jesus cried out, I thirst. And there was a written sign above him which read, This is the king of the Jews. One of the criminals who hung there hurled insults at him and said, Aren't you the Messiah? Save yourself and us. But the other criminal rebuked him and said, Don't you fear God, since you're under the same sentence? We are punished justly, for we are getting what our deeds deserve. But this man has done nothing wrong. And the thief said, Jesus, please remember me when you come into your kingdom. And Jesus answered him, Truly, I tell you today that you will be with me in paradise. He has no kingdom. This is Caesar's kingdom. Hell, King Caesar. It was now about noon, and darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. For the sun stopped shining, and the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. And Jesus called out with a loud voice, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. And when he had said this, he breathed his last. He's just a man. He's like all the rest of us. The soldier, seeing what had happened, praised God and said, Surely this must be the king of the Jews. But all the people who had gathered to witness this sight saw what took place, they beat their chest and went away. Go away! Go home! Go home. Go home. Go home. We're going! It's over. Now it was the day of preparation, and the next day was to be a special Sabbath. And because the Jewish leaders did not want the bodies left on the crosses during the Sabbath, they had asked Pilate to have the legs broken and the bodies taken down. The soldiers therefore came and broke the legs of the first man who had been crucified with Jesus and then those of the other. But when they came to Jesus, they found that he was already dead and they did not break his legs. Instead, one of them pierced his side with a spear, bringing a sudden flow of blood and water. The man who saw it has given testimony of the truth he witnessed and testifies so that you also may believe. took the body of Jesus and placed it in a tomb, cut in the rock, one in which no one had yet been laid. It is preparation day and the Sabbath was about to begin.
steal the body and tell the people that he has been raised from the dead. Take a guard, Pilate answered. Go make the tomb as secure as you know how. So they went and made the tomb secure by putting a seal on the stone. said to the women, do not be afraid, for I know that you are looking for Jesus, who was crucified. He is not here, he has risen, just as he said. Come and see the place where he lay. Go quickly and tell his disciples, Jesus has risen from the dead, and it's going ahead of you into Galilee. There he will see him. The women hurried away from the tomb, afraid, yet filled with joy. Suddenly Jesus met them. Greetings, he said. They came to him, clasped his feet, and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. Thomas did not believe that Jesus was alive. He had not seen him. But a week later, the disciples were in the house of Galilee again, and Thomas was with them. Through the, though the doors were locked, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then Jesus said to Thomas, Put your finger here. See my hands. Reach out your hand and put it into my side. Stop doubting and believe. My Lord, my God. Then Jesus told him, Because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. He's alive! He's alive! He lives, he lives, Christ Jesus lives today. He walks with me and he talks with me along life's narrow way. He lives, he lives, salvation to impart. You ask me how I know he lives. He lives with me by heart. 
Well, folks, thank you for watching. That was our 2018 live Easter scene of the crucifixion and resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ put on by my church, Oakdale Baptist Church in Rock Hill, South Carolina. And thank y'all for watching, and God bless.